What a difference a month makes. Colorado State was fantastic, Merrill, to start the season. Everyone favored top 25. And it kind of hit a brick wall here as of late, certainly when conference play began. And UNLV shocking the world. Was it Boise State? We talked about that game on the show earlier this week. And they ended up handling uh, business there. But another tough road game here for UNLV. How are you looking at it tonight? So yesterday on Thursday, Joe, when I sat in for you, I gave a free best bet at the end of the show. I used Colorado and the 1030 Eastern FS1 game last night. I'm going to come right back now and use Colorado State in the big game breakdown for the Fox Sports 1 game also now at 1030 Eastern Friday night. And similar angle I'll bring up when I faded Oregon yesterday in Colorado. We've got UNLV playing in the thin air and altitude of Colorado State. I think that's a disadvantage. And yes, as you said, they just beat Boise State on the road three days ago on the 16th. But I think that makes the altitude spot actually tougher here. I don't think they all of a sudden became accustomed to it. Now they're playing their second game in four nights in the thin air of altitude off a straight-up dog win. So I think it's a bad spot for UNLV. Uh, early money this morning also came in on Colorado State's move from 6.5 to 7. Even looks like it might go to 7.5 at some of the sharper books around the world. So I do think that's the sharp side in this game. And I agree with the move. Uh, as you mentioned, they're coming off back-to-back -back losses against Utah State and Boise State on the road, but then they bounce back with an impressive win against Air Force at home. And something I'll point out about that game is that Air Force plays slow half-court basketball, and that's the preferred style that Colorado State wants. Utah State and Boise play more up-tempo. Now, UNLV also just played Utah State and Boise. They lost to Utah State by one, beat Boise. So the common opponents makes UNLV look attractive, but now they're slowing down against Colorado State after playing two up-tempo teams. So I think the Pace advantage also goes to Colorado State tonight. Then they're in altitude in the scheduling spot as well. I think this is a good spot for Colorado State to get back on track. And like you said, this is a team that started the season really strong. They're still 14-3 and three straight up. UNLV is just 9-7. and seven. And if you look at the offensive and defensive efficiency metrics, uh, they're the better offense and the better defensive team by most counts. And they're also an excellent uh, free throw shooting team, hitting 76%, including 79% at home this year in their 10 home games where they've gone nine and one straight up. I think that also allows them to pull away and perhaps win this game by double digits.